What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be short and I hope useful. We're going to learn four phrasal verbs with the verb to lock. Are you ready? If so, let's get into it. First of all, the verb to lock means to close something with a key. And first, we're going to look at the phrasal verbs to lock in and to lock out. So the first phrasal verb, to lock yourself or someone in. It means to prevent someone from leaving a place by locking the door. The first simple sentence, she locked herself in and hoped she wouldn't be found. And the second example here, he locked his dog in. And now let's move on to the second phrasal verb, to lock yourself or someone out. Unlike in the first case, here we prevent someone from entering a place by locking the door. The first example, I locked myself out. Luckily, my parents had a spare key from my apartment. In this case, it means that I left and forgot my keys inside the apartment. And the second example is from the song Look What You Made Me Do by Taylor Swift. In the song, Taylor sings, you asked me for a place to sleep, locked me out and threw a fist. And now we're going to look at the difference between to lock up and to lock down. The phrase of verb number three, to lock something up, which means to make a building safe by locking the doors and windows. One simple sentence here, I'll lock up this door, you can go. To lock someone up means to put someone in prison. One simple sentence here. Sadly, Ilya Yashin, a Russian opposition figure, has been locked up since last June. And last but not least, number four, to lock someone, or you can also say to lock it down. It means that you want someone to become your official boyfriend, girlfriend, or you want to marry someone. The first simple sentence, after playing the field for a while, I found the one and decided to lock it down. To play the field is a very interesting idiom that means to date several people at the same time before finding a permanent partner. And the last simple sentence for today, he's a keeper. I think you should lock him down. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and remember that you can find me on Instagram. Thank you for your time. Have a lovely day and see you very soon. Ciao for now.